everyone's going to get like a hundred go live notifications and they're going to be like, what's going on? It's just typical nerd derby, uh, unable to make things work the way they're supposed to work. Um, so here we are. It's 829. I'm only 60 seconds away from when I was supposed to go on live. So I feel like all is not lost. Um, it was pretty good. But it's studio. Oh, yeah. I didn't tell you that. Uh, uh, okay. Hold on one second here. <laughs> hold on. All right. All right. So I have a... Uh, let me hear. Okay. I think, I, I think everybody can... Now everyone can hear. Um, this is the whole point behind these invites seven five uh, yeah, uh, this is the whole point yeah. behind these invites i don't <laughs> tell you why i sent you a zoom meeting but seriously why on earth would i send a zoom meeting if it didn't have something to do with a stream how could you not expect like oh, i guess this is gonna go over the air right like yeah that's exactly what's gonna happen um i'm so excited like we should have done this like months ago honestly like you, you should have just come on and we'll talk about pants and stuff um, and pockets like a long time ago, but whatever we did. Mm -hmm. um, so you're working, you're work, you're doing an order right now. Are you like, are you working on someone's order? Is it, or is it yours? I'm working, I'm still working on an order. Yeah. You are. Can we, can you tell yeah. us who it's for? Or is that, that's probably confidential. Is that like covered? This under... one I can't, I'm not allowed to. Really? Cause it's like a, wow. like, a rebrand sort of thing. Oh, like a rebrand, like a, like a skater with a new name? No, no. Like I, I make it for a store and then they sell it as their own. What? Wait a second. Okay. That's fine. Um, so you're making it for a store. Okay. Yeah. So this whole, this hobby thing of yours has gotten out of hand, huh? It's been a pretty awesome year. Yeah. Yeah. It's been my busiest year. Yeah, that's it's awesome and it's been your busiest year and then in general um it's been a, sh a shitty year for everyone. Um but you you I don't know, I guess I guess people are sitting at home and want to have comfortable pants, right? <laughs> like if you're going to yeah, be okay. stuck at home, you're like, well, I might as well I might as well like feel good about it. Um so, <laughs> Yeah, you Keys says you weren't watching last week um, that, cause, to know what happened. So, like, last week I had uh -oh. bur I had Bourbon Bruiser on. Bourbon. Is Bourbon Bruiser? Yeah. I was calling from, from down in Washington or somewhere near Washington, D.C., I think. Moving to Florida. Anyway. Uh, okay. Roller Derby streaming NZ. Colin. You were in the you were in the lobby and I didn't get you in time. You should get in here right now. Like get back in there <laughs> and I'll I'll get you on screen and then crash the stream again. Because that's what's gonna happen when I do this. Um so yeah, do that. And uh and, and we'll just, you know, we'll fill this fill this place up and I'll just make all the camera adjustments live so it doesn't crash. Because that's what it does. Um, okay, so this has been your busiest year. Um, like, that was pretty unexpected. Obviously, this is due to all of the promotion I've been giving you. Like, I no, think so. That's no question, right? I mean, that's it. It's not your amazing um, Twitter presence. It's not that. <laughs> talking about cats? Yeah, talking about cats and stuff. People, yeah, it's you're all of a sudden, you're, you're <laughs> relatable then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so I gotta, I gotta keep an eye on the zoom meeting. Oh, he's still traveling back from yesterday. Was that yesterday technically, or was that early this morning for us? I guess it was yesterday cause they ended at midnight. All right. So, um, what, wh what are you, where are you going to go from here? Like how long can you continue to work out of this room that you're in? Uh, well, I I'm, definitely can't like. It's just going to be in here. That's for sure. All right. So it's always going to be right here. You're going to be in there. And you, there's no plans to expand to like. It'd be nice, but probably not. Well, is that what you want to do, though? I mean, do you want it to go to to expand out there and have a, a fleet of people making pants all day? I mean, you make other things, too, but it's, it's easy to say pants. Um. 
I don't know. I'm pretty particular, so it's hard to say whether well I would want other people to do stuff too. As a small business owner, I think it's fantastic that you're particular because that's why people like your stuff. It's because you're particular <laughs> and you don't want to send a bunch of junk out. Um, so I saw you post the other day. You you shipped stuff all over the place, right? Yeah. What, yeah. Like, how how weird is that? Um, it is. It's mind blowing, essentially. Yeah, I can. Like, um, so you, where do yeah. you send stuff? You send stuff to. Like right? everywhere. Like everywhere. Uh, yeah. You're I hitting... just sent like a bunch of stuff to New Zealand. Well, that's because you're playing roller derby in New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> Which is nice. Um. So stuff to New Zealand. Did I see like Australia? Yeah, Australia, um, uh, Korea. I think. You're you are an internet. You're an international business now. That's yeah. wow. I'm so proud of you. That is just astounding. Um, that's that's fantastic. So, okay, so you're doing primarily legwear is that what most of the stuff that you're is people are buying right now yeah like i pretty much like i'm kind of that do one thing and do it good sort yeah. of person so but you, there are I other don't, things like, people have talked to me about jerseys and stuff like that but i don't really have the i don't have the motivation to do that right now i'd rather just focus on my I, I feel like a jersey would be hard um like because i think like the the big jersey the big names in jersey I think they're like dye sublimating shirts yeah. to get all the colors and everything on there. And that's yeah. a, that's a huge investment. Yes. Yeah. I've definitely looked into it. Yeah. I don't have the space for it right now. Like if I had a garage or something, I'd totally convert it. But well, I work out of a room in my house. So well, what, what's the neighbor's house look like? <laughs> like. Did you go over there? Take over their house. Yeah, right. Like when they go on vacation and it turns into like a, a weird 80s <laughs> John Hughes movie where you're running. Uh, to steal a, their garage. Yeah, you steal in their garage. You start a business. And um, I think actually that's sort of the premise of risky business. But I might I might have just rewritten the same movie over again. Um, all right. So let me. Uh, here's. I've got this web page open. Oh, it's so bright. Um. It's 40 fun questions to ask your friends. Now, oh, no. they're not like, <laughs> they're not hard. They're not, they're not difficult. I'll pick out the easy ones as well. Um, okay. But you should put, put, put like a derby spin on this. Um, okay. And then, and then sort of, you know, answer that way we stay, we stay on brand. Wait, I think I'm in the sports category. I need to fix that. I, I don't want to be in sports. I want to be in just chatting. Yeah, see, I for, always forget that. At least I got the title. Uh, chatting? Just chatting. No, not special events. Ah, oh, son of a gun. Uh, okay. Um, update done. Okay, let's get a let's get a question here. Forty fun questions to ask your friends. I consider you a friend now. <laughs> um. Okay. All right. So you just have to put a roller derby spin on this. If you're okay, sitting if you're sitting on a first class flight, who would <laughs> who would be next to you and what would you ask them? I've never been on a plane, so Oh, okay. So who's all right, so setting the scene, you're on a plane for the first time. It's first class. You're going to RollerCon cuz there's no cuz this is all hypothetical so we can eliminate COVID from the hypothetical world. Okay. Who's sitting okay. who's going to sit right there next to you? Um, probably my best friend. Probably your best friend. 
something bad to say rather than my partner. <laughs> no, not at all. No, that's not bad at all. I don't think that's <laughs> that is not in the least bit bad at, at, at all. Okay, so you're gonna take your best friend. And sorry. And then what was the question? What would I ask them? Oh uh, wait, was that part of it? Um. Yeah. What would you ask them? Like, it's your first time at playing, so like, can you hand me? Can you hand me that little bag honest. so I can throw up in it? Yeah, exactly. It would honestly be like, why the fuck are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So, all right. I'll. I'll. To be. To make this fair, I'll answer the same question. Um. All right. So I'm on a first class flight. Who do I want to be sitting next to me? And what would I ask them? I mean, I think there's there's only a there's a very narrow field of people that I would want to sit next to. Um, but the number one easily is Paul Rudd, and I would just I want to I would ask the thing I would want to ask him is I'd say, look, Paul, I know that we're both on the plane and, and we're in flight now. So there's really nowhere you can go, but I was just wondering if we could hang out after this. And then like, that's, I would ask him, can we, can we just hang out? Can we hang out after this? That's what I would ask. Um, if I was sitting next to Paul Rudd and that's, that's something I've asked in, or I've, I've imagined many times. Like I, I, I think about, I think about Paul Rudd every day. <clears throat> All right. Let's, let's do another one. Oh. Um. This is a tricky one because the year is almost over, so you don't have much time for this. But what is one thing you'd like to cross off your bucket list this year? Oh, that's a hard one. Uh, they can't really do much, so. Yeah, so it's gonna have to be like, you know, you know, learn to play the violin. <laughs> you can do that at home. Okay. We'll do that. <laughs> You're gonna just take that one, <laughs> learn to play the violin. You're gonna just Ukul the ukulele because we have one of those here. You okay? Okay, so you have a ukulele, and you okay? That's a pretty good one. Um, I guess. If I could cross something off my bucket list this year, and this is this is gonna be sad. Oh wait, Hammy, wait, Hammy's here. Hold on, hold on, Hammy, Hammy, Hammy. <laughs> Hammy, wait. Hammy's connecting, so I gotta, I gotta fix these windows now. Hold on, Hammy. Okay. Hold uh, on, I gotta start video. Yeah, yeah. You can start. I'm in the dark. <laughs> we're all we're all a little bit in the dark. Uh, I think. Okay. It's so... like I have no hair. <laughs> I could. This I... is my friend Caitlin. Oh, Hi. hey, Caitlin. Caitlin, you're um, you're live on the internet right now. Wow, so <laughs> exciting. I know, right? <laughs> um, my most supportive friend about my roller derby playing. Um, yes. Okay, so don't say anything cool or funny for a second or two, because i got to add you to this thing. I was doing okay. it real creatively, and it was looking really cool that I was doing it in the way I was doing it, and then I crashed OBS like four times. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> OBS and I are kind of like, um, we're kind of on the outs right now. Yes, is like the Twitch yeah. program. You need okay, to like stream. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yup. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. We can only join for like a few minutes. That's fine. So um, okay. what we're doing right now is uh, we're answering questions. Oh, cool. Um, so here, I don't. I'm not gonna even bother putting your name down there. Okay, don't even do it. I don't, I'm They'll either know this. me or I'm just a surprise. Right, exactly, exactly. Okay, <laughs> so the question I just asked um, 7-5 was, and I'll find it here in a second. <laughs> I asked, um, what is one thing you'd like to cross off your bucket list this year? And I Like was, in light? In, in life or in like roller derby only? Well, you know what? Um, let's make it about roller derby okay am i am i on now yeah oh yeah yeah you're on the in yeah. yeah oh you're i'm on the, on the internet now no, hello on the, internet you're on, the, you're on the internets now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um 
ooh, so what is one thing that I'd like to oh. do on my bucket list? Oh, yeah, you have to take the top off the wine. Yeah. Um, to- for the wine <laughs> we're having a nice time you caught us at a great moment yeah. um i oh. think for my derby bucket list i i shockingly kind of hit all of my derby bucket list goals this year Ooh, and right. then the pandemic happened so i'm kind of hoping that when we get back i can maybe go back to where i was i my dream has always been to make a home team at gotham and i had a season on a home team at gotham which was a huge deal and then I had this idea that I wanted to be on the B team at Gotham. And then I did that. And then the pandemic happened. So I think my like bucket list for roller derby is to travel and be part of like a B team tournament. Okay. In, okay. in like the goth, like a trait as a trader, as opposed to, you know, just right. having two or three practices. I also immediately separated my shoulder, like the second practice as a trader. So that was a thing. Um, okay. So the last, my last two practices on the traders, I separated my shoulder and had to stand there and watch. Oh, that's and not skate. That's and then really there was a shitty. pandemic. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, it was downer. fine. I, really... I hit someone so I hit some. Oh, you're free. Oh, I hit someone so hard I separated my own shoulder. So. Oh well, that, I guess all right. I guess that's cool. <laughs> um, okay. It's my luck. I tore, I tore my collarbone doing the same thing. I believe that. Yeah. It's one of the stupidest things. Did you, I can't believe that you're doing this right now and you're like making all of these orders. What do you mean? Oh, oh I, you're talking to me. I'm like orders. I'm not telling anybody to do anything. Back no. off. Listen, <laughs> I'm on Twitter. I'm on Derby Twitter. I follow all these wonderful Derby people. <laughs> 0.75. Yeah. You're so cool. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Thank you. Um, <laughs> What's that machine behind you with all the uh, bobbins, the giant skeins or whatever those are called? What are those called? Skeins? Yeah, that thing. It's thread. Mm. Nah, I think it. Uh, I think it has a better name than that. Spool. Like, spools are okay. <laughs> red. Yeah. This is a serger, and then this one's a cover stitch. Ah, cool. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for, we're looking for the cool names on things. Serger is a cool name for anything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so now I'm going to answer that same question. Um, what's one thing I'd like to cross off my bucket list this year? Okay, I can't cross this off my bucket list. It was really next year's bucket list. And, um, I actually, so I have to take a sabbatical next year. I, humble brag. Uh, but <laughs> you, you spend eight years at a shitty company. Not a shitty company, it's an amazing company. Don't, don't get me wrong. But anyway, got to take a sabbatical. Um, I, my big plan is to go do derby things and week one, I was going to go to New York so I could go and visit crash pad. That was my, that was my plan for next year. I've been, I've been spending like, did you just bring me on this call to make me sad? Yeah. Yeah. I have been spending. You're not supposed to make people cry. (laughs) Trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And, And I finally, I was like, yeah, you know what? I really want to go to New York and, and go to Gotham and, and Crash Pad. And... We don't need the Crash Pad to be Gotham. You can still come visit us. I mean, yeah, I know. I know. I can. I can also. I can also <laughs> visit like and, and see Parisians and not see the Eiffel Tower. But I feel like that goes like hand in hand. Like you kind of have to do that. <laughs> well, we'll have another Crash Pad at some point. Will it be called something cool like Crash Pad Two, Electric Boogaloo, or? And no, it'll be Crash Pad Three. This was actually Crash Pad Two. <laughs> I didn't know that. See. Yeah, so Crash Pad 1 was in Astoria in Queens. Um, and then a bunch of people found out where it was and were creeps. That, that would like, be me. I would do that. No, I, no, no. I, no, not like a fun creep. Like creepy dudes who were like, there's roller derby here. And it became yeah. actually like, it became yeah. unsafe. Oh, okay. And so, all right, yeah. All right. yeah for not me. like fun, there's roller derby here. Like, oh, roller derby girls, like creep creeps. Creepers. scary creeps oh, um and so crash pad 2 ended up being born and then crash pad 2 was there for 10 years and i have only skated there since 2016 oh. but my dream was to skate there so i get it like yeah. i crash pad 2 was a big part of like my derby journey and packing it up because i have videos packing it up and doing all of that was extremely sad but well also... i can imagine so there's been a lot of that like 
Um, and, and I think yeah. I think it's not always a bad thing. I think teams are like, you know what, we gotta we gotta like you know, like we could save a little bit of money. We could maybe even get find a better place if we do something now. We know we're not gonna practice for the next six months. Yeah. Um, like Boston Roller Derby uh, moved out of their warehouse space that yep. they had. Um, other places I don't remember the names of have done the same things. I mean, the thing about it is exactly that. Like the amount we were paying in rent to not even be able to use the space was so gargantuan that to take the time, especially because it's going to be a while before New York can do anything again, according to the WFTDA, very good guidelines, but it's going to be a minute. Yeah. Uh, By the way, why are we paying? Yeah. Why pay? That's how I feel about my mortgage, actually. Like, (laughs) that's how I feel about my rent. I don't use most of the space. Why am I paying for it? Every oh month. no, I live in New York. Are you kidding me? I use every single morsel of space I could possibly have in this apartment. Uh, yeah, my, my, my mortgage is probably a lot less than your apartment rent, too. Um, but here's the thing here's what I can't do after nine o'clock at night. I can't go to a store that isn't 15 miles away. Oh, yeah, see, like, s- thing. <laughs> yes, right? <laughs> yeah, you get it. Seven five gets it. mortgage nothing around you right yeah exactly yeah like yeah no no big deal you know i can i can pay this every month um see i've been all sad because at 11 o'clock all the bars are closing and i'm like what yeah um 11 that's so early i could (laughs) i could still go to go to bangor which is half an hour that way the bars there would be would be open um, I mean, I would be sad without a bodega and the bodega guys, but they take care of me at night. So there's no there's no bodegas. There's no bodegas around here. Uh, <laughs> That's the most New York shit I've ever said on a call. Yeah. By the way. Also, yeah, I kind of wanted to call that out. Like, um, <sighs> you, that was I'm from LA. So like, New I'm York. not from New York. But here's, here's seven five and I, who I presume also <laughs> lives out in the woods, much similarly to what I what I live in. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, and I'm like, ooh, bodega. Bodega. I, I wish Ugh. there was a 24 hour bodega. <laughs> right. Somebody's got to make me a sandwich at 2 a.m. when I'm drunk on my way home. Because mm. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't. And I live alone with my cat. So. <laughs> the cats aren't going to help you. That's... My cat's not going to make me a sandwich. She's the Jessica Lang of cats. Um, Is uh, every cat the Jessica Lang I, of cats? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> my, the same, same with the dogs. They're not going to help me out with anything. I mean, like you can, you can probably can see them in the corner there. Well, it'd be really small on your screen, but there's uh, <laughs> the the doggos are zonked out right now. Oh, puppies! Uh, I'm sorry that I'm in like the pitch black right now. I so, really am. I'm I'm with my friend who is here from Los Angeles, who I haven't seen LA. in a million years. Hi, from LA. my kindergarten best friend. <gasps> so we've been friends since we were like four or five. Kindergarten yes. best friend. Um, and so we're near where she's staying tonight and okay. we're having some wine. So you've caught us a little, a little so deep you, in the wine. Are you out someplace? Or no, like, is it, is we're at house? her boss's house boss's and she house. has a pretty okay. big, big backyard. So we're um, taking advantage of a nice private backyard that's so, safe. So the, the, um, the railing behind you, is that a stainless steel cable railing with uh, powder coat white posts? In a uh, yes, it cup? is. Cool. It's very fancy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was that? What do you mean? Is that a stainless steel white completely railing with a powder coat? I love that point seven five. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> do you work in construction? What I, do you do in the daytime? So it's funny. Okay, so I used to. Why did you call that out? I all right. I used to work in construction, and we did a house. Mm. We did a house in <gasps> Brooklyn, Maine, which is not the same as Brooklyn, New York. Uh, Brooklyn, Thank you Maine, for that. And we. Um, <laughs> And I, I actually had to oversee the construction and purchasing of a stainless steel cable. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what that's exactly what I built. It's, yeah, it's gorgeous. You built something beautiful then. Yeah, because well, it's quite nice. I didn't really build it. I just like I was the I was a project manager and I was like, you do mm-hmm. this, you do this and do this. And, and they did you it. do what I do. Yeah. Um, no, I work in a, I work for a healthcare IT company. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, it's a good place. I, good place. I sell toilet paper, so I get it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like right. every job is. Right. 
<laughs> somebody's got to do something you know Someone's... i'm a project manager but i sell toilet like i work for png so i sell toilet paper oh oh P i like you acronymed proctor and gamble that's what they call themselves i know it's just they're my client i don't work there i'm, I'm not obviously i'm old Cincinnati, fashion Ohio, so. so like i'm old fashioned so i've always i've always just it's proctor and gamble Oh, I was going to say, yeah. I like to, I will slow, like, shorten any word, like, merch. Well, we don't yeah. say merch. Do you say merchandise? Um, Totes instead of totally. But that's maybe the L.A. in me. Well, I, you know, I was just going to say, I if you hear me say totes, like, call me out on it. Because I'm I'm 43 years old, and like, I have no business saying totes. Like that's well, not... ham, you're carrying ham is... a, you're carrying totes of yeah, like, like totes, wires. Like, like, yeah, I got like totes of cables and wires or like to I said totes something of old was rad. CDs I'm never gonna listen to, but I can't throw away, you know? Rad is in our blood, so like yeah. don't be don't be sad about rad. I said oh. something about was rad and ham was like, We have to stop the show and talk about the fact that you just said rad unironically and not on purpose. Oh, you know, I think so I'm a beach kid. Mm -hmm. I actually don't <laughs> I think I, I, I am not opposed to rad. No. Yeah. A gnarly. I've said gnarly unironically a lot. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. I So as a kid, I used to have a subscription to Thrasher magazine. So I feel like. Fuck yeah, you did. So I feel like saying rad is, I mean, okay, like uh, the lousiest kid on a skateboard ever. <laughs> but Same. I still had my sub, you know. Could get that. <laughs> I've got to know what Mike McGill's doing this week, you know. Uh, anyway, that's I just got all over the place. I watched a lot of Lords of Dogtown because that took place like the town over yeah. from where I grew up. Yeah, so <laughs> you watched Lords of Dogtown because you're a, a bit younger. I would mm -hmm. have been watching Gleaming the Cube, which is what oh, I know I, that is what I run. I run that at the beginning of every show now. I run clips from the movie Gleaming the Cube with Christian Slater. Oh, yeah, no, I know it. <gasps> right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I've seen everything with Christian Slater. Are you kidding? You've seen everything? Okay. I mean, I wouldn't say everything, but like let's, a lot. Let's test this knowledge. Pump up the volume. Oh, no. Pump up yeah. the volume. Right? Classic. Yeah, everybody. That's a classic. Okay. Um, Untamed Heart. Yes. Yeah, with uh, Marissa Tomei. <laughs> with, with Marissa Tomei. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, like, I can't think of any other... Ooh. I mean, obviously Legend Heathers, but everybody. Heathers. How about Legend of Billie Jean? Oh, you know what? That's on my list, but I have not seen it yet. So you've now stumped me. Okay. Make it happen. It Ready? showed up on my, like, queue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legend of Billie Jean's great. Um, okay. 7-5, favorite movie with Christian Slater in it. <laughs> this is where we're at. I literally yeah. have the worst memory ever, so I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Uh, you liked Robin Hood, <laughs> Prince of Thieves, in because he was in that. Oh God, he, he was in that, wasn't he? he? Oh Will, my goodness, young Will Scarlet. Yeah, that's right. Who doesn't love a Kevin Costner? <sighs> um, I mean, <laughs> Roxanne watched all of Yellowstone. Anybody who <laughs> saw anyone who saw Postman or Waterworld doesn't really. Waterworld like was my number one movie, and at Universal they would have the water like the Waterworld ride, which was a show, and they would like ride around. Did you ever see that? Which one? Waterworld at Universal, uh -uh. and they would like like ride. It was like a show, and you could be in the splash zone, oh. and they would ride like water skis under the water and come up out of like. Anyway, Waterworld's rad. It's a terrible movie, but I've watched it a lot of times. <laughs> I've watched it a few times myself, and I did enjoy it. I actually didn't mind the Postman either, but I love the Postman. That gave me fifis. Fe Feelings. I am a nightmare. <laughs> I've had wine. Don't put me on. You made the mistake of sending me the Zoom link. <laughs> I don't feel bad for it, you it at all. It wasn't a mistake. And when you said, uh, when you said something about alcohol consumption, I'm like, check. Yep. That's... I was like, I'm drinking. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what Twitch is for. Yeah. Thrasher and I went out this morning and we drank wine to celebrate certain things that may have happened in the world. And then, because <laughs> that's what went. <laughs> uh -huh. yep. uh, uh, I have some very cute Thrasher <laughs> photos. And then I went out and saw my friend from home. And it's been a long day of of drinking alcohol yeah. and enjoying the fact that we won't be able to sit outside probably after this week. Why can't you sit outside after this week? It's going to be cold. Oh, it's cold. 
it's cold let's already talk about that let's see, what's the temperature right now let's talk about cold what is it right now well, i don't know she's looking i think it's in the six like the, like the 61 61 that's it's all right decent. it's perfectly decent right now mm-hmm. but i feel like it's only gonna get colder when does it and get harder to... when's it uncomfortably cold you know, Definitely by you, November. You know, like, I'm setting you up for 7 5 and I to judge you hard. I'm from a place. Oh. But, yeah, but, like, it's not that much different. Yeah. When is it too cold for you to I'm sit outside? I'm not that far from the border. Uh, when is it too cold for me to sit outside? Um, Anything, once it gets below, like, 15 degrees, I'm like, I'm like I don't have time for this. Uh, but... 15, de- are you talking in Celsius? <laughs> No, Fahrenheit. I would not be caught dead in 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, if you were out too long, you would be caught dead in it. I would, I, you're right. <laughs> I just don't have that's to go how, outside. That's how hypothermia works. <laughs> oh, that's mean. No, uh, 15 degrees. How about you, 0.75? What is your like cold threshold? I'm trying to figure out what it is in American. Well, it's in, in, in <laughs> American. You can do Celsius. I understand Celsius. It's 32 degree difference between. Okay, yeah. Well, it's seven right now. So, so that... Already too cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Already done. Already. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's only I'm seven Celsius. But yeah. are you sitting outside all day in seven Celsius? I, I haven't sat outside in a long time. I've been yeah. too busy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you've been too busy. That's yeah. true. Yes. Um, Seven five only lives in this room that we're looking at right now. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> finishing <laughs> orders. Right, finishing <laughs> orders, making things happen, making uh, magic happen. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so let me ask one more question in case you have to go. I want to get one more. I do. So I get, get me one, one more, more question. In. Okay. Um, what is your most treasured possession? Again, is this a der- derby possession um, or just make, like life make a, possession? Make a derby so that I, I can say I tried. Oh my god! Oh, your god, um, your oh, your god is your most treasured possession. Yes. How, how did you know? Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. I no. Um. That's hard. I think it's my cat ears. Um. When you make mayhem, I'm on Manhattan Mayhem. That's my home team. Okay. The day that you make it, they hand you like an item, and we got cat ears because we're cat themed. We're bodega cat themed, so since I talked about bodegas earlier, um, and Ties so I think my like, again. yeah, like a throwback to like yeah, the earlier really conversation. Good. Nice. Yeah, thank you. I did it on purpose, she says with lies. <laughs> um, I think that the cat ears are maybe my most prized possession. Those cat ears are a really big deal. Like getting those earning those being on the team like that team is so like we're so supportive like through the pandemic we've all been there for each other like they're cool people not to like sound like a nerd but like roxy and i like roxy is on like the people Bo, roxy slay like the people on mayhem are such a big deal to me that to be part of that group is so big to me i got to learn from like spork and like just the people yeah so i think that the i think the ears for me were a big deal okay um that's good i got to skate with my heroes <laughs> oh wow but don't tell them i said that <laughs> i listen i i turn into like seriously when I, like i'll go someplace and i'm like streaming and like i'll go i'll, I'll be at like battle of the all-stars in, in new york and i mean pennsylvania and like like diva will come over and go how's everything going and i'll be like oh <sighs> Everything's fine. <laughs> and I just, you know, I lose it. Um, so no, yeah, I just like the group, the group is so good. It's such a supportive and we all went to New Orleans last year together just for fun without any derby attached to it, which wow. was like, New Orleans, huh? For fun. I've never been. Yeah. Well, oh, I know shocker. Uh, but I've just not been part of like a friend, like a friend group that like practices hard and plays hard. And it just was, it was really nice. And those ears are like, they sit on my sink to remind me of like, how far I've come. Cause when I started Derby, I had never done a sport. I didn't really think that I could figure this out. It took me a year and a half to pass minimums. Like my Derby story is very like, I tried out for Gotham three times before I made it. Oh, um, that's fantastic. Tore my ACL before I made Gotham. So like for me, like every step of my Derby journey has maybe been a little difficult, 
Um, and I've had to like really work to earn what I've gotten. And that was like my biggest goal. And then I made it, which is why when you're like, what's your bucket list? I'm like, I have to make up a new one, which is yeah. such a weird, wonderful feeling. But, yeah, that's great. You know, All right, crazy. So, seven five, <laughs> your most prized possession. Okay, so derby related would it has be, to be derby related, right? I gotta remember that. Oh yeah, this MVP that I got <gasps> because it was like my first WISTA tournament. Like, well, not WISTA, but like um, I don't know for ranking, whatever tournament. Okay. And it was my first first game back after screwing up my collarbone, and I don't know, we sucked, but it was a super fun weekend. Okay. I don't know. That's it. And you, I'm not very... Well, no, but, you, but I like that you actually had it right on your desk. I know. I, it, it's right... It hangs right there. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just Good. there to remind you every day. Like, this is why I make... Every day. This is why I make amazing fucking pants. Because <laughs> I'm the MVP. <laughs> this is my that show. Is I, I'll swear. I'll swear if I want to. Uh, it's after 9 o'clock, so I guess you're allowed to. Um, I don't know what the rules are. I don't. That How about you? What's your What's your derby like? Uh, so, um, I so one of my most prized possessions. Um, you know, I was gonna try to be funny and be like, "Well, it's actually this HDMI converter cable," but it's not. <laughs> um, I actually do have it. It's got old coffee in it. Just fantastic. Um, but here's. I had these mugs made. Uh, I don't let's see if it'll focus. Oh, so sorry. Okay. So this is um, for Team Maine, um, the, the Battle of the All-Stars team in, from 2015, I think. And I had Rad. these mugs designed where I got everybody on the team to autograph a piece of paper. So it's got everyone's autographs on it. And I had these mugs made up, and um, I have a couple of them. But I've always just really loved this mug because it, it just reminded me of like a really great time and a bunch of people that like when I started streaming, like these people were all involved because was, I was streaming here in Maine. Um, and so they were all involved. So I like to look at that and I, you know, like, oh, yeah, Jamazon and Siren and Micro and Firefly. And yeah, I would say that's probably it. That's really special. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. They're great. I mugs. want that. I just never, I'd rather not ever wash it though, because it's a, we were just talking about dye sublimation earlier today, and that's how this is made, and it's, uh, it'll scratch and wear off, so. Oh, yeah. I wash it very gingerly. Well, I want to thank you for having me on. I have to jump, but it was nice to see both of you. Uh, yeah, this is great. Um, so now <laughs> you know, fun. secrets out. When you see a Zoom invite happen on Saturday, it means I could, I could go crash a stream or not. I have a choice either way. Yeah, I mean, I'm not against crashing his stream as long as you're cool with the fact that I'm inebriated. Uh, actually, <laughs> which I checked first, so I knew you are. Right, right. I don't. Want, I mean, I don't want it to sound weird, but I prefer my guests come on the show inebriated. <laughs> I kind of feel that way about our show too, so right? I get it. Yeah, yeah. Like when we do the Ham and Hammy show, we're like, you can have drinks; it's fine. Like if it, we we meet a little bit early and give people like. Uh, some time to have a drink or two before they start in case they need to like lube up a little. <laughs> All right. And on that note, thanks for joining us, Hammy. <laughs> anyway, it was so nice to have you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have you. <laughs> and we say goodbye. Yes. This is why we are leaving now before I <laughs> dig too big of a hole. But thank you right. so much for having me. Thanks, and, for, thanks uh, for coming on. Have a great rest of your show. I will. Bye-bye Bye. now. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to have to readjust everyone's windows because that's how that works. All right, so I'll just do this. <laughs> and because now it's just your forehead. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, great. All right. Um, so that that was fun. That And that's exactly what I think I want to do on Saturday nights. Like, I just want it to be like this – weird like who's gonna show up and you know uh <laughs> just kind of bizarro um you know no no topics per se no topics other than you know it's gonna be sort of infused with some roller derby stuff um mostly guests that don't realize they're guests yeah that's actually like 
I'm really thrilled about that, actually. Yeah. You're like, yeah, what's this, what's this conference call about? He's, were you going to talk about advertising and stuff? Is that, good? Was that what we're going to do? Yeah, oh, thanks. You know what, actually, we're going to do right now? Oh, I, I'm going to roll... I'm going to roll the 0. 0.75 ad. Oh, 30, 30 seconds, we'll be back. My, web, my website's not even open. So we're back. Uh, that was the uh, 0.75 advertisement. Um, Adver <clears throat> yeah, advertisement, and uh, that that represented my uh, recording debut. Woo yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I if I you had made me cry with that. If I had my guitar handy, I would just I would I would just show you, like, I would just play it. It really was. Yeah, I just I just goofed off and made some chords because I um I didn't want to um I didn't want to use something that was gonna get muted all the time, so the only way was to make was to do that was to make sure I had actually like um had made something like original, which was just banging around on some chords. All right, uh, so the question is, what is the zoom? Yeah, uh. Wait, roller derby streaming New Zealand. You had the you had the address. Um. Oh, oh, maybe you're talking about keys. Uh, there's got to be an easier way than to manually recrop the screen capture. Um. So I think that kind of there is right. So the way I would do that, um, normally, is I would do that in studio mode, so I could do the recropping over on the left hand side, and then just switch it and it would go back and you wouldn't have to see the weirdness but studio mode in obs is as awesome as it is crashes all the time and i don't know how to make it not do that so for now it's just going to be janky like that um okay it's still recropping well you know it's coming from a zoom i don't like i, I don't know how to do that without i don't know i don't think i don't think i I don't think there's a better way to do that with Zoom. Um, only just make it look a little cleaner while it's happening. Um, or not change, or not have different people come on while it was happening too. Um, okay, question for you. How long does it take to make a pair of, let's say, um, your n like average leggings shorts? How long does that take? Um... I don't know, like, start to finish. I don't know, like, with the cutting and stuff, but sewing's, like, at least 25 minutes. But that's not including, like, the cutting. You can sew, a, a lot. A, you can sew a pair of these in 25 minutes? If nothing screws up. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I can't do anything of value in in under 25 minutes. Like, that's, I never would have it's imagined like that. The cutting, the cutting out is what takes a lot of time because you gotta, you gotta make sure it's laid out right or else it won't stretch right. And... Uh, my mind is blown because I look at that and I go, "Well, that's gonna be three hours worth of work." You know? <laughs> no. Oh. No. But. Oh. We... Definitely not. Uh, not quick. I don't think that's quick. Uh yeah, it's quick. It's definitely quick. I've been sewing since like nine o'clock this morning and i'm still sewing so um do you ever have to like stretch your hands out so you don't get like you know sewer's elbow or mm, i probably should stitcher's I wrist don't try i don't know not really you, just, like, you probably should though right yeah what's, what's your go-to snack while you're working um toast <laughs> Uh, you, I'm you, pretty boring. See, I was just unlike say, could Hammy, you, I don't drink. So, <laughs> could you be any more boring? Uh, yeah, I have toast. 
I have sometimes I'll have toast. Sometimes I'll have chocolate. Sometimes I'll have milk with it. Don't drink milk. Sometimes there'll be some milk. Sometimes, sometimes I'll, have, I'll have. Sometimes I'll have I'll have white bread toast with warm water. <laughs> dip it in. You just dip it in the warm water, yeah. Because <laughs> you're because you're because you're basically you're you're a it's it's like self imposed prison that you've got yourself in right in this room. So. I just need to wet the bread a little bit. Yeah, just wet um, the bread a little bit. Yeah, and you know, no. your, your partner slides the toast underneath the door. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Huh. I don't really eat in here though. Like I I I can't really eat while I'm snack. Like I can't snack and so. Um, you know, yeah, because you don't want like, you don't want like someone I don't get to peanut open butter up their, on pants. Right, they open up their package. And they're like, "I'm so excited! Oh, there's a there's a peanut butter stain down the crotch." Like, <laughs> I'm deathly allergic to peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And then and and then I kill someone with a pair of pants. Right, you you weaponized a pair of leggings, and all of a sudden, yeah, and then you're <laughs> then you're then you're like an international terrorist. Um, still great pants though. You know, Let's not do that. Yeah, like don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Um, and Keys asked, how is that different than my living room? I'll tell you, Keys, that's right. how, how it's different than my living room. Um, I have a sink and a refrigerator right there. And I feel like that's <laughs> different than a prison. Like, I'm not, I mean, I'm locked in, but it's more like Big Brother because there's, there's cameras yeah. all over the place. But let's not say it's anything like a prison because it's yeah. not. Oh, it's because I didn't. I didn't send you a link, Will. I didn't. I, I only sent it out to a, like a few people. That's why. Uh, um, I, you know, I'll give. I'll give you one though. Next week, I'll send you one. That's uh, no big deal. I have Will. I'll have Will on. I should get Will and Keys to come on. Yeah. So there's even less reasons for me to leave. Um, this is like. So I. I was always in a room much like yours, small, confined space. And I realized I was walking through my living room every day and treating it as like a hallway. And, uh, you know, I just like walk by all this empty space. It's very much like this is going to be a very specific example that's not going to resonate with everyone. But in the TV show Futurama, Bender's apartment is basically a closet. And he lets Fry live with him yeah. in his closet. And then in his apartment, in this little tiny apartment. And then one day he goes, I don't know, we'll put that in my closet. And he opens the door up and it's like a giant like apartment sized room. And he's like, that's your closet? So that's kind of how I felt about walking through the office every day. Or walking through the, walking through the, the living room. Uh, I don't ever use it to like sit and enjoy like a TV show. I don't, I don't do that. Um... I'm not, that's not to mean I don't watch TV. I just am way lazier about like sitting in a living room. I gotta, I just go right to bed. Um, so I decided I'm gonna just. This is this is gonna be like a studio now. The whole the whole Power. living room. Yeah, I'm getting rid of, I'm getting rid of a couch. Um, well, half a couch. Um, it's a sectional, so I'm gonna keep the part that has a fold out bed on it. For what I don't know, just. That makes sense to me. And, and I'm going to pitch the other side. Um, and then I think I'm going to get rid of my, my dining room table and chair set. I think I'm going to get rid of those too. Because I want that space over there. What are you going to put in there? Well, over here, like this, you can't see it. I don't know why I'm pointing. Um, so uh, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have an open space. Maybe a maybe a half pipe. Maybe learn how to skateboard and do, start doing tricks. <laughs> uh, I like have dancing. Yeah, dancing. Get a I, pole. A pole? Pull? No. Uh, yeah, like I don't think I would do well as a pole dancer. Um, I'm not really athletically inclined, so it would be it would be a struggle for me all the time. Um, 
you know, like also there's usually not like there's not like an early enough show in the day where there would be a spot for me, I think. So that's OK. Yeah. Keys now has that picture in his head. Me pole dancing. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, so, okay, quite, I have had questions for you that I wanted to ask that I never have asked. H- how do you, how do you determine what you're gonna get for material to make like your? Sorry, what? How, how do you determine what you're gonna choose for, like, patterns? Um, it's hard. Like, I have to try and, depending on what I'm getting and how much, like, I got to make sure it's something that's going to be universally liked. Like, the last print that I bought, the, like, smoky, rainbowy one. Yeah. Um, like, I had to buy 55 yards of that, so that's a lot. Wow, 55 yards. So, yeah. Hmm. So, um, it depending on how I do things, like I got to make sure that it's going to be something that I can sell all of it. Cause that's mm-hmm. a lot. Yeah. Um, is that like, is, my, that a, is that an entire bolt? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, so 55 yards is pretty much standard for rolls. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a lot. Um, it's, it's like about 12 inch, 12 inches around. Whoa. So it's not yeah. like it doesn't come in like the ones I see it like uh, like. No, no, it's a it's on a giant cardboard tube. Like it's on a giant roll. Oh. What do you do with those it's cardboard like tubes here. when you're done? Okay. Whoa. Those are all rolls. That wow. big white one right there. Yeah. That one is my rainbow print. Wow. Does the does the delivery driver hate you when they have to bring I, those giant? I think, he, I, I think he likes me. He's a pretty nice guy. I give him stuff at Christmas. So, you know, that is so yeah. smart. That is so smart. <laughs> um, I, I ordered a, I ordered a, uh, a, a winch for my Jeep one time and it showed up and the guy was really unhappy about it because he had to like carry it up to my house and it was like, it was like a 65 pound, 70 pound box, and it was all kind of broken open a little bit, and like it was all loosey goosey. He was so so frustrated with me, I think. Um, yeah, well, I feel bad for the fabric because like they're awkward as hell to to carry, right? So they're they're about the same. They're about 55, 60 pounds. So and, it's like a small, like a small dead body. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of times the cardboard tube inside is broken, so they're like wobbly. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Again, a lot like a dead body when you're trying to carry that. Like yeah, well, yeah. and they're like they're like uh, sixty inches, so yeah, they're pretty much a dead body. <laughs> Down. <laughs> now, now you'll think about that every time you have to handle one of those things. You'll be like, you know what? If <laughs> if I ever have to off someone. I'm going to be careful about where I drop them because I don't want to have to move them afterwards. Hey, I've got it down to a science. I can carry those things all around the house. All right. So you're, so, so you're okay. You got it. You're a professional then. Um, yeah. Professional all right. Professional body carrier. Professional body. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm sure we can find someone that needs that done. Where's my phone? Um, and the only reason I'm looking for my phone is uh, because I I don't know what notifications I have. Like if somebody asked me a question and I, cause I think somebody did. Uh, yep. Um, uh, okay. Uh, wait a second, wait a second. Yeah, sure. Any time. Uh, I was just communicating with a a potential guest. Potential. Um, That's exciting. Oh, you have no idea. You have no idea. Um, Okay. 
Why don't... Oh. Why do I... Yeah. Why do I know so much about dead bodies, Keys asks. And Babular says, <laughs> why don't you, Keys? Yeah, see? <laughs> see, Babular gets it. Sometimes you just have to know things. You gotta know things about that. All right. Uh, nope. Didn't hit. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do it. Do it now. Get in here. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Now I gotta adjust this thing again. I gotta adjust this. Hold on. Don't don't start saying anything cool or funny. Till I finish this pro this window thing that we don't like doing live because it's just so boring. Um, <laughs> boo! Like, like that right there. Oh. Who do we have? We don't know because they have a mask on. It's a secret. Oh. It's a secret to everybody. Who could it possibly be? Hey, are you on a subway hey, right now? I was about to get on. Wow. Um, I can wait, but I was gonna get on. Yeah, you should. I mean, obviously, don't like don't loiter around the subway station. Oh no, it's fine. I'm at Grand Central. Grand Central. So here we are. We've now traveled to Grand Central. Uh, of well, course. Well, we're about to travel to Times Square, so you might lose me. Dang, this is great. So, um, so this is this is coffee. We have coffee on with us. You you all know coffee from from such things as Twitch chat and Twitter, uh, and and we also have point seven five from up, from up to Canada. Point seven five is making pants right now. Yep. Wait, what? You have pants? I do. Uh, on a scale of one what? to on a scale of one to ten, um, you know, where would you rate these pants? Well, that's put, that's putting you on the spot. What? If you want, if you want a good rating, even my mom said they were cute, and my mom hates quirky things, but she's a fucking quirky fan. Ah, uh, mom liked them. Okay, let me embiggen this a little bit. Let's drag that out a little bit. Uh, you're smiling? Oh. Oh, that's great. Very nice person, Um, so you've been out you've been out on the town hanging out, right? I have been. It's uh we are celebrating my birthday a week early and getting a new job. So You have a new job? I do. What can you tell us what you're gonna do? If you can't just make something up. Um, it's, it's executive, it's executive assistant. Whoa. Executive assistant. All right. Fancy. But, uh, I'm also, was always trying to have to keep it. Yeah. So I'm basically setting two jobs in one day. Okay. So, um, d does everyone in the subway car think it's weird that you're, um, talking to your phone right now? It's pro it's probably like normal too. Like I would think it's weird if I saw somebody outside talking on their phone that I didn't know because I, I live in the middle of nowhere and I'd be like, who the hell is that on my lawn? You know? Uh but you live in New York, so it wouldn't be it's not weird at all. You're so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to do the one thing though. Talk louder because you're very muffled. Uh, this is a mask. Yeah, don't take the mask off though. I'm not going to. I'm <laughs> trying to find the microphone. Oh. I see. I thought you were just fixing your hair and I'm like, oh wow, look, somebody's got a lot of vanity. Yeah, yeah. Someone's vain. Oh, okay. Thanks, so. Dad. <laughs> Um, okay, so you're you're leaving Grand Central. Where did you? Where were you going again? Where, you were going to. I am going to Times Square. Times Square. 
Yeah, it's so weird to me. She transferred to the train that will take me home. Okay. Um, so you're gonna just you, so you're gonna go to Times Square, but you're not gonna be like up up surface level Times Square. No, I don't. I don't want to. No, that's like stay in the underground. That where it's sounds safe. like a good plan. Yeah, stay subterranean. So, um, Hammy was on earlier. Hammy was on. I was hanging out with Hammy earlier. Yeah, this is after that. Because you weren't there wow. then. You'd, I'd have known. Well, she, we, were, we were hanging out in the waste of together. Oh. So, it's, so some, there were very New York things that were said in that conversation. Now, oh, no. And now... <laughs> And now there has been some very New York things in this conversation as well. And for me, as the, um, the, the uh, backwoods, naive, um, scared country boy, uh, it's really weird. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you know, it's country mouse, city mouse, right? Like I, I, like, I would only be on a subway... <laughs> Okay, let's think the last time I was on a, I was on a subway. Uh, it was three years ago when I went from uh, Boston to New York to get a Amtrak train to wherever, Atlanta. So, like, I never go on a train, but you were on a train probably, like, every other day anyway, right? Oh, uh, you froze a little bit, which doesn't surprise me because... <laughs> Uh, yeah, not great reception down in a subway. Okay, am I back? Oh yeah, I can hear that guy. It's, yeah, it's you're back. You're back. Or you're waving us off. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, when was the last time you were on a subway? Seven five. Um, huh. I don't think I've ever been. <laughs> right, right. right, like, okay. so what? 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 Where about in Canada are you? Like, don't tell me the exact time. Okay, town. so, so, um, you know where Detroit is, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah, Motor City. I'm, I'm not there, but I'm like an hour, hour and a half down the river from there. Essentially, I'm an hour and a half down the river. That's up the river. Up, up. <laughs> no, I just think that's like. Uh, uh... I guess up. Yeah, I guess up. I'm an hour and a half up river. That's uh, that seems very Canadian to me. Well, I like because I live I live right on the river that separates Canada and the U.S. Okay. So like the St. Clair River, I live right on that. Gotcha. And yeah. Um, we're at Grand Central now. Is that... yeah. No, we are at Times Square. Now. Oh, that's what I meant, Times Square. Yeah, I see. Yeah. I, I already I'm lost. Uh, I, mean, I can show you some uh, outdated Broadway advertisements for slaves that will not happen for probably another year. Um. Yeah, it's wicked. What really interests me is the conduits running across the ceiling and the HVAC system components I can see. That's pretty cool stuff. Like, okay. kick conduits. It's very, it's, you know, it's very, very New York. Uh, it's also very, very utilitarian. It's nice. Um, all right, so you're going to get on another train. What's the train that you're getting on? Either the two or the three. Oh, either the two or the three. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do they have like like na other like names? Or, no, they do not have other names. It's two or the three. Two or the three. Um. um I live in Harlem. Okay. Um. So I'm going from Midtown to Harlem. Okay. So, like, in Boston, they have, like, cool names, like Red Line or Green Line. 
and you hear people say, "I'm gonna, I gotta go up to Leechmere," or I, I gotta go to, uh, I can't remember any of the other ones. For I don't know why Leechmere sticks out. Um, so you're on your way home. Uh, what's how long does it take you to go? Like, what's like, what's travel time look like for you if you want to go from your place into town? To, well, to town. But it's going to take me about 25 minutes. So, okay. That's another that's another thing. Um that's kind of not that way here in Maine. This is another obvious difference. If I go 30 feet from where I live, I end up um on the lawn in the garden <laughs> or I end up in the garage. Uh, that's where like 30 feet from me. Uh, the closest store is one mile away and they closed 35 minutes ago. Mm. Yep. See, yeah. the flip side of that is the closest store to me probably closes around eight or nine. Most stores close closer to midnight. Mm hmm. And or most grocery stores close to sort of midnight. And I am coming from having drinks and dinner with friends that will not end to eleven, and it only ends at eleven because of COVID, not right. because of normal regulations. Yeah. Normal would be two a.m. Oh my goodness. <sighs> And some bars get to extend that to 4 a.m. And then, if they're serving food, they can start serving alcohol again at 8 a.m. Okay. Um, if I need to go someplace here, if I wanted to go somewhere at 2 a.m. to get something, I would have to go to... Um, the closest place, I think, would be Irving's... It's a tr Irving's truck stop in the town of Newport. Um, 16 miles away. So, like, if I had, like, oh, man, I, you know, I, what I really want to get right now is, like, a giant cup of um, something or, like, a gross gas station hot dog at 3 a.m., that's where I would have to go. Um, which is okay. You know, Bye. like, on the flip side, if I want to... Look outside my window and drink a cup of coffee and watch deer frolic in the field. I get to do that too. So it's okay. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to come back in about 25 30 minutes. Okay. And I promise I will bring Gertie. Okay. That sounds amazing. Do it. <laughs> All right. Have a safe trip. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Coffee. Now. Bye coffee. Okay. Um. So so far. We've tra traveled all, you know, we've traveled all over um, New York from the yeah. comfort, from the comfort of our own homes. This is basically, this is basically less what I want. Less people Yeah, so less people right? It's less people-y. Uh, <laughs> I am, um, okay, so, uh, th so there's some talk about Wawa's. Um, uh, I... I only ever go to Wawa's when I go to Pennsylvania, and they are not Is that a here. store? Yeah, Wawa, W A W A, Wawa's. I mean, it's okay, no. but it's 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 fine, you know. Like if you, it's got a, it's just a standard convenience store, um, but they have some food that is okay. I'm not a huge fan of like. I'm not a huge fan of like super dry sandwiches that have been there for a while <laughs> like it's not my thing so yeah so yeah I, I know that's a hot take a hot take babular that i i think wow was is okay um I, I think i've been to one in florida maybe well, i can't remember i don't know if they've i don't know if they're down there i think they're, they're fairly um they're fairly regional 
there's just a lot of them. Like, um, it, it, they're not as they are some in Florida, according to Keys. Confirmed, they are in Florida. You have you may have been to a Florida Wawa's. Uh, I've only I've only been to a, a, <laughs> some in Pennsylvania. They're not as, I mean, they are they are to that region uh, uh, like a Tim Hortons is to everywhere else in Canada. Um, or Canadian Tire, which is on my bucket list. I've never been to a Canadian Tire location. Uh, oh, I was supposed to send you video. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Actually, <laughs> I. <laughs> I'm really, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, I have never been to Canadian Tire before, and I really want to experience that. I don't know why, uh, but I, yeah, like it just seems like it'd be really. It's just like a cultural thing. So, <laughs> cultural. Yeah, it's just a cultural like, thing. You know, like people people they think about Maine. They're like, oh, you must go. You must always be going to the LL Bean store. I'm like, no, I don't want to go to the damn LL Bean store. The only time I buy LL Bean stuff is if I can find it at Goodwill. You know, like that's, the... and then I return it to LL Bean and get a new one. <laughs> Not true, because they, they cut the tags, at, so you can't do that. Rightfully so, that would be taking advantage of the situation. Um, they followed the snowbirds. Oh yeah, okay. Um. S- that's so snowbirds are, does the pennsylvania area i i, I and i say area i mean like you know uh, 100 miles within philadelphia are snowbirds a thing like people go and they go south for the winter and then come back is that a thing in pennsylvania i wouldn't have thought that maine i can understand because it's it's a it's a cold frigid hell um for a good part of the year. Old old people. Dude, you say old people, but I'm 43, and I'm like, yeah, I'm time for that right now. <laughs> I'd like to get the hell out of here for a little bit. Um, Yeah, people retire down there, too. Yeah, Florida's good for that. I guess real estate's really cheap in Florida. So I've heard. I have not ever looked. Just haven't done that. Yeah, but it's Florida. Yeah, it's Florida, and I just... I worry about being the Florida man, you know, like I don't want to, I don't want to be like, you know, Florida man burns down house with derby streaming gear. I don't, I don't want to be a, I don't want to be a, it overheats. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. Well, it, it overheats. Cause I, here's the, the danger is that I do things like, um, like I found a, a, I found a dirty old video camera on the side of the road. Uh, so of course I had to take it and bring it home, you know, like a, like a, like a wounded animal. Um, so I, I brought this really cool old v- VHS camera home and I tried to resuscitate it in my house and it, it's only like, it's a pretty low voltage that goes into this camera. So I wasn't really too worried about working on it while it was all open and exposed but son of a gun, I, I took a couple of hits off of that. I might brush my hand on something, and I took a couple of hits through my hand on that, and it really kind of surprised me. Anyway, so that's the kind of thing that would put me in danger. Um, okay, so do you, you've seen the videos of me using that big fabric cutter, right? Yeah, that's pretty vicious. So I, I definitely ran over the cord with it. <laughs> oh, nice. That's like, a, that's like my... <laughs> My skill saws all have like tape on them about this far it, down the cord because I've run this. Terrifying! I cut the cord in half. Did it, did it like that was, spark? It was scary. Oh uh, yeah, it sparked. Thankfully, I had like just turned it off, so there wasn't like much running through mm-hmm. it. I don't think, and it just kind of like gave me a big heart attack. And oh geez. now it hangs from the ceiling, so I don't ever do that again. Um, Babular, this was a much older camera than the late 90s. It was from 1984. It's a JVC camera identical to the one that Marty uses to film Doc Brown. In... It was almost as old as me. Yeah, there you go. So I was disappointed I couldn't get that camera to work. You know, I, I really wanted it to work, and I was super excited about the prospects of that. Um, 
Well, I've seen you stream, Will. I know, I know you're very New York. I can't, I can't wait. Next Saturday, we're doing it. You're, you're the number one guest. Um, so I don't know. I'll do something with it, but I wanted an old VHS camera. I just got it in my head that I had to have this clunky old camera. Um, and today, which is this is kind of a regional thing, you probably don't see this in New York. Um, today was um, in my little town, my sleepy little town of 2,500 people, townwide yard sale weekend. So the town office does this like map. Best weekend ever. What? What did you say? Best weekend. We do those all the time. All the I, small towns around here do it. Yeah, I love it. And then just you get a map. They print a map out, and you can just drive around, and it takes you all over the place. And you, you know, you can look at other people's junk, you know. And uh, I just, uh, anyway. So I drove around today. One of the things that I did was uh, I wanted to find an old video camera. So guess what? From 1987 uh, or 88, I found this. Um, General Electric HQ Movie Video System camera, and it works. I recorded myself with it earlier today, and it is it is deliciously nostalgic. And we're gonna do some things with this. I don't know what yet. So there's my very expensive camera I'm shooting. All right, so I got this. Uh, they wanted ten dollars for it, hilarious. and I said I only have what? six dollars. Well, you take six dollars, and they're like. Yep. You could have got it for two. I probably could have got it for two. I'm like, yeah, well, if you're willing to go down that. Um, I did. I hooked that up to a capture card earlier. I don't have that capture card now. And the other thing I found was it doesn't do. It doesn't do a lot of. Uh, it doesn't do low light very well, so I could hardly see myself in here. But it looked great outside. So that was one thing. Now. The other thing I did, and this is like not derby related, but it's I, I only promise that this show ever is just going to be weird. Um, they also had box two boxes of VHS tapes. Now, because of Gotham's Derby After Dark, I have this interest in weird commercials, and you know because of the fish pen. Um, so I had this weird commercial thing i just like looking at all these old commercials so anytime i see vhs tapes now and they've got something recorded off tv i get it and i like i watch through it to see like the old commercials and like um you know just like i actually kind of dig like local news spots and bumpers and all that stuff it's really nerdy and the reason why i'll, I'll probably be single the rest of my life uh because of that um but i I bought these two boxes. I actually didn't buy them when I got the camera. I got thinking about them. I couldn't get them out of my head. And I went back because one of them was called Prom 1994. And I was like, I got to know what's on that tape. I have to go. I've got to know what's on that tape. So I went and I went back down and I got it. And uh, they had these two big boxes of vhs tapes and i kind of wanted them all i didn't want to have to pick and choose and i kept going through and i found another one no it was not it was not seven five <laughs> so i got the prom i will oh let me go back so as i'm looking at this tape and i going through the box i realized there's like one that says christmas 1988 I gotta, I gotta, I don't, I just, I don't know what it is. I gotta see this. Um, I've actually gone through all the tapes and I, uh, so the prom one was kind of boring. It's, uh, no, it's, it was like the kid went through and like showed the, the air, the gymnasium that they had decorated. And it was like typical kind of small town b boring. Um, and then the rest of the tape is like, is this girl's brother recording while she's getting her hair done um, and her grandmother's doing the hair. And I realized that this is probably somebody very local. And sure enough, uh, with about 20 minutes of research, 
I found this person and asked if they wanted to have their um, tapes, if they wanted to have them digitized so they could keep them. Because I, because it was like, so I, yeah, so I found this person. Um, they went to Mount View High School. No, it wasn't. So I got these tapes in Carmel, in Mount View, is like, uh, I don't know, like uh, half an hour south of here, um, different different county, down in Waldo County, and so some of these tapes, like the accents, the thick main accents, are deliciously main, and I'm gonna bring those. On. I'm gonna take some of those clips, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bring them on. Um, Waldo County. Yeah, where is Waldo County? That's basically a, that's the okay. big, big joke. But I need to know what were the gifts that the kids got on that Christmas tape. So, <laughs> one of the gifts. I fast forwarded through a lot of it because it's really dark in the room. But the one gift that they opened up, and I was like, <gasps> I was so excited. Um, no, it was a it was a talking Pee Wee Herman doll. Oh, I was gonna say Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs> no, talking, talking Pee Wee Herman doll, and I was like, "That's a great gift." Um, and then one of the other kids, there was a birthday party. They had, they were opening up birthday presents. Um, they got a card with like two dollars in it. Um, but they also got a pair of, like new a new pair of sneakers in a jean jacket. And the kid puts the jean jacket on, and his dad's like, "Pop the collar on your jacket." You'll be a cool dude. Pop the collar, and he's like, Haha, "No," um, but yeah, he got a he got a jean jacket, and I was like, "All right, cool." Um, two one dollar bills or one two dollar bill? Ah, uh, great question. Um, I uh, it was two one dollar bills because his sister took the two dollar bills and put them. Um. In a full, in a, in a, like an, in one card, I watched her do that. Um, and she was really good about that, putting those things together. So, um, yeah, one, yeah, one $2 bill if it's from the grandparents. Where do your grandparents get those $2 bills? Is it from your grandfather? Because <laughs> if it is, you're going to have to have a talk. <laughs> don't, don't put those bills in your mouth. Um, so, yeah, so these videotapes, and I decided that what I what I want to what I'm going to be now is I'm a VHS archaeologist. That's <laughs> I, I that's what I am now. Um, I am a VHS archaeologist, and I dig, dig through these things. The the one I haven't watched yet. Uh, I'll tell you. I'll go, here's the tapes right here. Um, this one's great too. Uh, this this tape, um, free blank videotape with three pack purchase. So if you if you bought a three pack of Salem cigarettes, you got a free videotape with it. Uh, <laughs> so that's uh, at the, the at the Christmas one. It's really great. There's like um, it's like grand, grandma's got this grandma's got a cigarette like hanging out of her mouth, and they're all like they're just having a great time and it was like it was really kind of warm and fuzzy but um this one is uh oh so there's some snowmobiling a little bit of that there's the videotapes a moose that was out in the backyard out there gallivanting right upside where the horse fence is uh there's a piano recital which is exactly what you would expect a boring piano recital um there was this one's blank, so I don't really remember what it was. Uh, a lot of the tapes, because I always like the ones, like I said, like they have stuff that comes from from off air. Uh, but unfortunately, the only thing that they ever recorded was the Country Music Awards, uh, and that was painful to even look at. I'm not a big fan of country music. All right, so this was all right. So Christmas '88, that's a that one's a gem. I didn't look at this one. It's Christmas 1993. So we've got some. There's some probably some gold on that one. Uh. Oh, and this one, this is the real capstone. 
so once you've gone through all of these tapes and you're like you're invested in this family and you really become like you feel like you're part of the family after 20 minutes of looking at them um so just the creeper in the back just the creeper in the back yeah i'm like <laughs> So I'm actually gonna I'm gonna edit these. I'm gonna green get a green screen going. I'm gonna edit these and with with the camera and then record myself and then I'll put myself in the in the old in the old Christmas like I was there and then and then I'm gonna send it to her. Hey, I've always been here. Uh, but this one, um, Dale and Nikki's wedding, March 29th, 1997. So she she marries Dale and there's their wedding. I didn't watch that one. His wedding videos are terrible. I didn't watch this one either. 1991, Moose Hunt. So I presumably that's actually a moose hunt. That's not like a euphemism or anything like that. Well, they're from they're from Waldo County, so it could be. There's some probably some good accents on that moose hunt one. Oh goodness gracious! Oh boy, this family, <laughs> this family there, they're you could tell they're real close. There's a lot of uncles. Everyone's Uncle Johnny or Uncle Tim. And they are wicked awesome. They are just they're the, the nicest nicest bunch of people. Oh, they're from Knox County. Not Waldo. So I'm giving some doxing these poor people. Um, they're they're going to become internet memes and everyone's going to go to their house and be like, you, you're the one who got the jean jacket. Uh, probably not, though. Uh, Can you please guess the jean jacket, please? Oh yeah, oh for sure. Yeah, I'll, yeah. The kid puts on the jean jacket and, and he's just like so excited. And I'm like, yes, you got a jean jacket, you know? Um, not like a fancy jean jacket though. It looks like a it looks like a pretty stiff, very dark blue Levi one. So not really like Aww. a cool one. Yeah. Um, I was and, hoping it was acid wash. Oh yeah, I wish, I wish. Um, yeah, so we'll do a mini series of these. Now, what's really cool, and this is, I mean, I say cool, but, you know, like, cool, cool. Um, this camera is the camera that was used to record most of these videos. It came from the same family. And I know it's the same camera because there's one shot where the kid stands up and there's a mirror in front of him. And he records himself in the mirror for just a minute. And I'm like... There it is. That's the camera that he used, um, and it's uh, also got the same, the same font. Um, oh, you know, I I actually have a, I may have a clip I recorded myself earlier. Uh, oh, hold on, I think we have a clip. Let me just give me just one second here. Uh, okay. <laughs> You, you're you're muting because you're laughing so hard. Uh, all right, all right. Nope, nope. That's not it. This one right here. I bet this is it. Let me. Uh... Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. This is pretty funny. Uh, all right. No. It's all right. It's twenty-seven. Add. You're not gonna be able to hear this. Seven five. So you can turn up, you can turn up Twitch so you can hear this. Once I once I play this. Um, media source. Okay. Let's see if we can do this and not crash OBS. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That one and then twenty seven. I hope it's. I hope this is the right one. Uh, I think it is. Uh, I have a couple of these. Well, let's just find out. Okay. If you're seeing this, then my calculations were correct. And I have traveled back to January 1st, 1988. I am going to buy cigarettes for $2.50 a pack. And I'm going to bring them back to the future. And I'm going to sell them to kids in schools. <laughs> All right, let's let's roll that one more time. <laughs> let's roll this one more time. Uh, wait, how do we do that? Uh, <laughs> you're losing it. Right, here we go, one more time. If you're seeing this, then my calculations were correct. And I have traveled back to January 1st, 1988. I am going to buy cigarettes for $2.50. 
two dollars and fifty cents a pack, and I'm going to bring it back to the future. I'm going to sell them to kids in schools. <laughs> that's okay. So, so there we have it. That's my that's my plan. If I can travel back in time, is to buy cheap cigarettes. Oh, you know what? That messed up the audio sync on my my camera here. Oh, uh, whatever. Whatever. So, um, yeah, I was pleasantly thrilled and surprised that the camera worked right out of the box. Um, why am I not in the woods? Oh, let me go back and catch up on chat here. Uh, <laughs> creeping on the Joneses. Yeah, that, that will be me. I'll be creeping on the Joneses. Um, Okay, and so Will says, why am I not in the woods? Like, if I go outside, I'm in the woods, really. Like, I, well, I'm in the field, um, and then there's woods. Uh, but it's, uh, I don't have any, uh, well, I'll, you, can, you can see where I live. If you Google Ring Hill Airstrip, Carmel, Maine, you'll see... An aerial you Google image, and you'll see the airstrip. That's where my house is, out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, okay, and then the next thing. Uh, okay, yep, I, you'd have to leave the studio, especially this time of night, ten o'clock. There's skunks out there. Uh, having the dog sitting face in the corner would have been good enough. Yeah, is my dog? Look at him. He's been there. He Rue has been sound asleep the entire time. Like he's just zonked out. Okay, that's also I just realized it's ten o'clock. We're 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 getting to wrap up time. Uh okay, so let's just zoom in. Wait, someone just entered. And I don't I don't <laughs> someone know. Someone just entered the chat. Someone entered and I don't know who it is. So I'm gonna hold on, I gotta now we gotta go back over here. Uh window I captured to Min Mindy. Oh, there you are. I didn't know who you were because your name was on there. Oh, no. This is my boss's account. Oh, jo oh gosh. Okay, maybe reconnect. <laughs> this just got real awkward. No, it's. I just renamed it. It's fine. Oh, okay. Your name's not on there. All right, so. I, I would log out after this, but I. it's not like it's going to record anything. I mean, I'm on the internet right now. It's live. I changed my name. Uh, I don't have your name on there anyway, so you're you're totally fine. No, no, no. I, my I changed my display name. Okay. Uh, to actually my name. This is Gritty. Is Gritty so happy when you come home? Gritty is so happy when I come home. Let's just he make this a little like bigger. A little motorboat. Like super deeply purrs. Uh, my dogs don't do that. They get excited though when I come in the door. Good bark. Yeah. He barks really. He barks really loud too. Do you want me to make Rue bark? Okay. He's sleeping right now. Rudy is probably about to walk on the computer. Hold on. Oh. Let's see, let's see if I can get. Oh, he's being such a cute boy over there. Let's me let me zoom in the camera on him. Let's see if I can get some kind of reaction from him. Hey, Rue. Rue. <laughs> he's his eyes moving, but. You. Have I ever told you how much I appreciate that Kanga is younger than Rue? I know. Well, we got him out of order. But it's so funny. They did, when when we went to get, we were gonna like always get Kanga first, but mm -hmm. the litter that was born didn't have any. Um, there was like one was there was one like female puppy, but we didn't really like the way she looked. So we're like, well, let's just get, let's just get Rue again. Um. Hey, Rue. Is uh is Grampy here? Rue? Oh no. Where's Grampy? You're me. evil. <laughs> hey. Right it, now Grampy I got here? this I got some lush bath bombs and Gritty is currently crawling all over the bags that they came in. Oh. <laughs> um, I I got very easily upsold on the Halloween collection, so it's a purple backpack with bat wings. Rue is not yeah. gonna bark. Rue. Hey, buddy. 
Hey. He's gonna try to knock on the desk, you know. He's like, dude, I know that's you. I'm not falling for it. Ro! Like, you can't. So you shout, just so you know. <laughs> I, I have headphones <laughs> on. So that's just me you're shouting at. But you don't, you don't point to that. Gr- hey, come see Gritty. You want to you wanna see Gritty? He's like, I don't care. Where's Kanga? I'm going to turn off my microphone while I try to call Gritty over. Okay. Hey, Kanga, come over here. Um, Where's the laser pointer? So the way that I... No, the way that I try to get Gritty to come over is I trill at him. Trill? Like... like oh, is that called trilling? Um... So it would be on like if you were reading music, it would be. Oh, okay. Um, All right. The so, way that that sound is written in music. All right, I'm gonna just move you around a little bit here. Uh, or just this is kind of useless. All right, so you can see Rue on there, right? Yeah. And he's looking very majestic. Mhm. And he sees I have something in my hand. And uh, let's see if he'll react or if he'll be uninterested in the laser pointer. Is the laser pointer? It's on his paw. Yeah, get it. Get it. He is a sleepy boy because he's not getting up. Go on. Do you have a laser pointer for Gritty? I don't actually have a laser pointer for Gritty. Oh, here comes Kanga. He's very spoiled, but he doesn't have a laser pointer. Get that, get that, Kanga. Get the dot. It's being, Kanga! It's being a menace. Gritty. So, actually, what you what you all are missing is that uh, Gritty actually did come over when I called him. He's just lying on top of my shoe and sniffing the, sniffing the shoe. Oh. And seeing um, if anyone ever met him at ECVX as a kitten that little like felted i don't know like onion that he was in uh, i wasn't there and i cannot possibly even imagine what a felted onion is let me let me show you yeah get the dirty cat toy oh okay no like literally yeah i never would have imagined that that's what you were talking about so he was this big yeah so he fit in it it was his bed what is that meant for, though? I think it's meant as a kitten bed. Okay. Kanga, um, will you give a? Will you get down right in front of the camera and say hi? But oh, but Rue is. Hi, Rue. Oh, he's definitely peed in it. Okay, Rue. So he knows that it's <laughs> He peed in it. He's a baby. Oh, like a yeah, little cat a, thing. Like a cat. They're like, yeah. <laughs> Check out yeah. my stuff. I'm going to pee on it. He's, like, he's so, despite like liking to eat my arm, he's otherwise like very well behaved. Okay. He tears up his own house and not any of my other stuff. Well, and that's he, really great. And he only bites people he loves. Uh, I cannot say the same for Rue. He's never so- bit anyone, but I feel like he has the potential so he doesn't ever get to visit gritty, gritty likes biting people so much that he will try to moderate how hard he's biting you to let to make sure you keep letting him oh really yeah that seems a little weird doesn't it it's a cat yeah i've not had a lot of cat experience so it's that's sort of new for me so I, I don't it's an abnormal cat thing what do you what kind of pets do you have seven five Can I just call you Seven? You can call me whatever you want. You can call me So. You can call me Amanda. I don't really care. I'm not going to call you Amanda. That's weird. I know. I don't like it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's creepy. Um, um, so we have two cats and a dog. Okay. What, do they do anything cool? Or do they just... Do they sew? Do they show? No, they're all pretty awesome. Uh, and one cat's annoying as hell, but 
Have you ever sewn something for them, like clothes? So, okay, so my one cat, um, you know, like how they put those trackers in animals? You mean like you know on, like, about? you mean on like National Geographic where they shoot the dart no, no, at them? Like, and... No, you like mean, if your cat no. gets out, the vet can scan it. Oh, yeah, like a chip. Anyways. Yeah, so my cat reacted to that, and we had to get it removed. Oh, jeez. And so I had to sew him a shirt to wear while he was healing. Okay. But that's pretty much it, I think. Unless I've... Yeah, that's it. Um, I don't do much other than pants, really. Yeah, you just... They probably have cool pants, though. And, And like, like, Halloween costumes. Uh, like you make Halloween costumes for people or for pets? For my kid, yeah. Every year. What, what do you make? What was the, like, what's, what are you going to make this year? She's not going out. That doesn't mean you can't so, still get in costume. I don't know. Well, that's true. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't thought of it. But like last year she was, uh, Pennywise. Okay. The year before she was. Uh, Mad Hatter for that Grim Reaper. Um, I don't know. I make I make her costume every year. Very macabre. Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We definitely have a like. It has to be creepy rule, and she's all for it. Um, Pennywise. That's from that's from the book It, right? Pennywise yeah. the clown. Yeah. I've never read the book. I. This is what I mean. Oh, yeah. Like, I love you so much. I'm going to bite you. Well, actually, this might be more of a mom, let me go bite. Oh, I don't want to <laughs> hang out. Mom, I don't want to hang out with you and your friends. No, actually, because he bites harder when it's I love you, let's play. Then I don't like this. Um, the I don't like this is a very brief like i'm gonna brush you with my teeth let go of me and the i want to play is where he sometimes goes a little too far did you um did you get a package today in the mail oh i actually meant to uh put a shirt on when i entered this video so give me a second you have a shirt on now just so you know like uh, uh, i don't know how inebriated you are <sighs> Okay. Well, look at that chick that Elmo out up there too. Is that it? I wonder if that's one of those uh, tickle me Elmos that uh, talks and stuff. Looks like it. Yeah, probably. I think Elmo's got one roller skate on too. From the looks yeah, of it. Yeah, one of Elmo's roller skates fell off. Check it. What you, you're what you have a fish pen T-shirt? I do have a fish Whoa. pen T-shirt. Oh, that's because you came on. That's because you came on air. That one time. You called in when I when I per- played talk radio I, guy. I was your first ever caller. Yeah, you called in on the the one eight whatever whatever, Rue ten ten. Yeah. Okay. What else was in the box? Oh, okay. Let me show you. Yeah. What else was in the box? I'm so excited. I love sending packages out to people um, because there's just one thing I put in the package, but like that one thing, actually, it costs more to ship that one thing than than it originally did. Well, I'm going to show that one thing last. Yeah, save that for last. So the other thing that was not the one thing. Mm -hmm. The surprise. Yeah, there it is. Spock. Right. Because I asked you, so originally I was looking for, like, because I, the last two packages I sent out, uh, Greta and um, Seattle Santa, I sent them records because mm-hmm. I was getting some records out. And I could not figure out what record I wanted to send to you. And I just, I couldn't do it. It was really a struggle. Um, My music case is too boring. Kind of, yeah. Um, I like everything. Yeah, this is way too boring. So, I don't know. Something came up about Star Trek, 
Or maybe I asked you if you ever watched it, and you you said that you liked Spock because of Leonard Nimoy. Yeah. I had just taken custody of like seven totes full of Star Wars and Star Trek toys and collectible items. From... I think what I said was I'm more of a Star Wars person, but this is my Star Trek. Oh, present. I don't think I had any cool. Well, maybe I'll, next time I'll send some Star Trek. I mean, Star well, Wars I mean, stuff. I mean, Leonard Nimoy is awesome. And also Spock is pretty cool. Yeah. And he's got his little like phaser and tricorder there. You can have all kinds of. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Don't, don't swallow those. I'll try. Yeah. Like they don't give yeah, you should be careful. And wait, wait, we haven't shown off the last thing. Oh, yeah. What what else was in there? What else could be that amazing? What? A fishing pen rod? You <laughs> you have a fish pen. I have a fish pen. Oh, what? my fish pen's on the mantle right now. Let's see. Yeah, it comes apart pretty hard. Yep. Look at that sturdy telescoping rod. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah, yeah, good luck. How does this catch? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it wasn't entirely intuitive the first time, but I, I've, 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 I've assembled and disassembled it a few times now. You can get really good at it. Like, it, you know, like sort of like the, the, the Russian school kids who assemble and disassemble a rifle. You can I get like that with it. But yeah. how does the reel go on? Okay, so you have, you have two, um, threaded pieces where your left hand is right now and they have little tabs right so you're going to unscrew the front one enough so that you can take the reel and the reel has two tabs on it and then they were going to slide into those little receivers got it yep that's probably enough you don't need to unscrew it any more than that i'm putting together a fish pen live on air yeah live on air (laughs) you don't even have to like yeah, you on your lunch break now. You can, you don't have to sit around and daydream. You can go fishing. It's my new job. I could just go walk over to the Hudson River and eat those delicious, delicious Hudson River fish. Oh, I feel like that's not a thing anyone should do. It's it's definitely. Not. Yeah. Um. It's actually a little bit more purple. It shows. It looks pink. No, it's very, it's very, it's very fuchsia purple. Yeah. Yeah. See? Fuchsia. I would have just said purple. I only know like seven colors and I use those same names for all variations. Like, I just, I never gave enough time to really thinking about that, I guess. Um, perfect. I love this color. It's perfect. Great. Because uh, you don't get to, you don't get to choose. Wow. And all I need is some reel, is a reel, and like... You need some string on that thing. Be yeah. able to go fishing. Now, I don't know if you have put it on there yet, but the cap, slide the cap on the end of the handle. Okay. And then, then it makes the handle a little bit longer. So okay. now okay. it's complete. It. Yeah. So I've got, sorry, I've got a reel. Yep. I just don't have any line. Mm-hmm. And I need some bait. Yeah, because um, it doesn't come with it doesn't come with uh, two things of ta- tackle like. Yeah. This is this is not like a real fish pen. Oh, I guess I would need a hook. It's probably best if you start out a few times without a hook. I think. I've fished before. I, I know how to fish. I actually do. <laughs> okay, East River, you're gonna get some of them East River salmon. They'll be running soon, Bob. See, I don't even want to touch them to let them back in. I don't, I mean. Oh, Gritty is trying to eat the fish bin. Gritty, yeah. I'm not surprised. Gritty's like, dude, get get me some fish with that thing right now. Right meow. You know, in addition to having fished at summer camp, I learned how to fence in college. So this thing. That is, that's, yeah, that's like a, that's do dual purpose now. Gritty, that's a terrible sound. That's a terrible sound. <laughs> ah, Gritty, oh, Oh, Gritty. Gritty, what have you just done? Oh, we'll give it a second. But I think Gritty just Gritty just destroyed the, the connection for coffee. That's uh, what cats do. 
Hook, line, and sinker. Oh, here we go. Click the uh, click the admit. Kitty has disconnected. Oh um, God, I'm gonna rename myself. Don't worry. Oh, uh, that's fine. Nobody knows. Oh, uh, well, Gritty hung up on you. Yeah, we we um we figured that was the case. It it all happened so suddenly. You were you were like. Gritty, that's not that's a terrible noise, and the cat was sort of in the camera, and then you were gone. And it was like, it was obvious that was like the final moments kind of a scenario. <laughs> he really likes the fish pen. That's uh, this is just, I'm so happy about that. The, <laughs> this is sniffing it. You'll ha you'll have to put a cat toy on the end of it and just. Oh, oh that's, wow! That's honestly, perfect. A cat toy on the end of the fishing pole. You know, Greta was over here the other day um, because I'm housing Gotham's MacBook, or not MacBook, Mac Pro, until we get a new practice space um, so I can run some more of the Gotham streams with oh, yeah. something than my MacBook Air. Um, and while she was over here, Gritty came out and said hi to her, but then ran under the bed and she left him a little toy. So I could oh. put that little cat toy on the end of this. Yeah. And he'd be over the moon. Do you, does Gritty ever get uh, catnip? Yes. Gritty, Gritty is very spoiled. I don't know if you know anything about Gritty, but I spoiled the crap out of Gritty. Well, I, from day one, like from day one, Gritty had life of luxury yeah. and and fans. Well, yeah. Gritty went from hiding in a car engine to getting half of the queen size bed with me while still in his little. That That thing. is every, like every, like, I feel like that's a, a Disney movie in the making. Well, then we met Big Gritty. Right. I, so like. Even if it's not like a Disney movie, it's at least like a Don Bluth film. Who, yeah. What do you think, yeah. Gritty? He's like, he's like oh, whatever. I'm the center of attention. Uh, dry, dry cat food or wet cat food? He mo he eats. I free feed dry cat food, and he only gets wet food on special occasions or when he's very sad. Oh, uh, okay, okay. But it has to be genuinely sad, not. I went from grandma's house to mom's house sad. Um, it uh, has to be like there were a bunch of fireworks and I was scared sad. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense. So, does do you ever let the cat drink from the faucet? Does he like that? I don't anymore because I got him a fountain. <laughs> of course. Gritty has a fountain now. I, I I would leave the faucet on for him because he liked it so much. Yeah, but cat. That the fountain. That's a cat thing. They um, just cat. really they yeah. just they just dig that there. Yeah, and he's a good water drinker, so I didn't even feel bad about that purchase because he likes running water enough that he drinks so much water that I can free feed him dry food if it's running water. Yeah, uh, Madeline Lethal. Gritty and fish pen, true love. Like, oh, I, I, yeah, that's, a, that's a good title. Can you see him? Uh, hold on, uh, I'm on the wrong screen. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's down there by the New Balance sneaker. Yeah, the New Balance sneaker and the fish pen. Um, you know, I there's a chance that that New Balance sneaker. Well, hold on a second. I, I don't want to let me let me just confirm if this is still the case. Hear me typing. I've got to verify facts before I spelt them off. Um. Yep. Oxford, Maine. New Balance. They make New Balance sneakers here in Maine. Oh. See, I should go there because they charge me way too much for these New Balance sneakers. Um, and the um, in uh, down in Massachusetts is the big New Balance. Um, their corporate headquarters. Yeah. Yeah, it's just down the street from where the Bruins practice facility is. I think they sponsored I it. I know what that is. 
Yeah, it's also where the Boston Pride of the WNHL play. And uh, they... I went to undergrad in Amherst. So. Oh, so I mean, basically, we're like, like that's like, yeah, we're we're related. I feel I feel like now, like that's. I I was I started roller derby with Pioneer Valley. Pioneer Valley. Yeah. Um. Uh, Pioneer Valley is what what's the what's the team name for pioneer valley are they just pioneer valley it's either the travel teams are well there's more now but it was western mass destruction that's what i thought yeah um did you did you ever travel anywhere with them no i was fresh meat okay fresh meat um i've i've called a couple games for western mass uh the Western Master Destruction came to Bangor and played Bangor Roller Derby a few years okay. back. This and... was also in 2012. I have not been there since 2012. Well, I'm just talking about me now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Uh, okay. So you um you weren't here earlier when I did questions. So oh. I'm going to ask you some questions. These are 40 fun questions to ask your friends. You're not going to answer all 40 of these. I'm going to oh, select gosh. one. Okay. That's good. Um, cause we're, we're, we're winding down. This is like, I've, I feel bad cause I've kept four, seven, five, just like hanging out for the last two hours. Um, hopefully it's been entertaining. Uh, okay. It's been fun and I'm working. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to work till like three o'clock in the morning? Not tonight, hopefully. Okay, good. Um, so I want you to try to put a derby spin on this if you can. Um, okay. Gritty. Gritty. Sorry. Gritty oh. loves that. No, he loves the tension. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all do that. Um, he's an only child. What has been some funny advice someone gave you? It's kind of a hard one, but I asked it anyway. Funny advice. Yeah. Oh, that is that's a hard first question. Yeah. Well, I don't like it. Let's get another one. Uh, what food do you dislike the most, and why? That's an easy one. That's a solid question. What food do I dislike the most, and mm-hmm. why? Yeah, and then try to talk about it in in combine it with roller derby well dried shredded coconut dried shredded coconut is poisonous yes it's texture like Ugh. i i don't mind i like coconut milk and coconut water so it has to be the texture of coconut dried coconut yeah yeah it's but it's like literally cannot eat a dessert if it's in there so like a macaroon no I can't, and I know that's like primarily condensed huh. milk and extra sugar, and then okay, milk, and I can't do it. So, at first, I was thinking that I was also not a fan of coconut, dried coconut, but I think I'm maybe thinking of like a little bit more like sh- large shredded coconut. That I don't, I can't eat that. I need the little tiny ones because I don't mind a snowball. Oh, see, I can't do snowballs either. Anything, <sighs> anything that involves dried coconut, I can't do. It's ten- I, have, oh, it's, I can do any kind of like curry with coconut milk. I'm happy with coconut uh, water. Um, as long as it has some flavor other mm-hmm. than coconut in it, I'm happy with it. Or sugar, whatever it is. Coconut so that- sugar, coconut flour, fine. Coconut, <laughs> like fresh coconut meat. Not my favorite, but mm. I can eat it. Dried if, coconut, anything. If you wanted to get a snowball right now, how far would you have to go to get a snowball? A block. Wow. That is a magical, um, that is a magical um, Maybe world. not. Like, it might not be there, but there is a bodega that is open 24-7 within a block of me. Okay. Again, I would, I would have to drive... 16 miles to get a snowball right now. If I wanted to go to McDonald's, I'd only have to go like 60 feet. 
Can you smell the McDonald's from where you are? Luckily, no. Oh, great. That's good. Okay. Um, seven five. Same question. What food do you dislike the most, and why? Um, I don't. I don't really have one that I don't like. <laughs> I'm so I'm super you can't boring. See me. I'm you can't sorry, see me, but I'm shaking my head in disgust right now. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay, so. I don't What's... know. What? Oh, sorry. Someone opened the door. Oh. Well... Uh, like. Oh, there you are. I don't know. <laughs> Do you like all vegetables? Yeah. Okay. Um. Like, I don't. I don't know. Like, there must be something you don't like. Tripe. Yeah, I'm not necessarily a fan of that. Yeah, okay, great. There we go. Tripe. It's disgusting. Sorry, I I told you I'm not yeah. supposed to be on this because I'm boring. No, this has actually been like, I think everybody, they didn't know they wanted to see how, see how things work. But I think it's like, it's fascinating that you can like have a conversation and like, and do this like stream thing and you're like whipping, whipping pants out over there, you know, and in the in the the uh, 0.75 HQ. Sometimes I'm pretty sure the most interesting part of me is my celebrity cat. So. Uh, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. And your dogs, your dogs are so cute. Right. Exactly. Yeah. They're. And so is this cat, except for right now when he's chewing on me. He's like, yeah, give me some attention. Um. Okay. So food that I dislike. And why? Um, so I, I don't, I won't say that I dislike cheese, but I'm actually not a cheese fan. Um, oh. I don't ever go. I wouldn't go out of my way to eat like cheese. I would eat it if it was there and I didn't have anything you else. You eat dairy. What? You eat dairy. I eat dairy, yeah, but I just don't like cheese all that much. Um. My favorite cheese is actually just like slices of American cheese, which is like the most not, not cheese, cheese right? Right? Um, <laughs> you know, you might, someone might say, oh, I could sit down and really just eat a big bunch of uh, nice brie. And I'm like, ah, no, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, I don't, I think I used to like cheese a little bit more, um, but I don't, I don't care for it. It's just not my favorite. Um, maybe someday, maybe someday that will change, you know, maybe I'll be a fan of cheese, but for right now, um, not a fan, not a fan. If I ever get really into streaming, I will get a better camera and a better light, but what you can't see is Mr. Mostly Black Cat is gnawing on my hand and bunny kicking me. Oh, he's just so happy. He is. Also, I'm letting him. Oh, well. That's... Because I have the shorts on my hands, so he can't bite me that hard. Oh, yeah. You used him like a like a little barrier there. A little yeah, cat, I've, cat I've also turn. done this with like an oven mitt. This is part of my problem. The reason why he will bite me to play and like tell me he loves me normally is because I let him play rough when I have something. Oh, yeah. He listens to no. But Sometimes he gets very excited. Um, Rue gets a little bit mouthy when uh, he has to go. When he has to go to the bathroom, and, and I'm, I'm like not really listening. He'll become a bit mouthy. Oh, I owe Gritty food. Hold on. Yeah, get Gritty some food. Um, okay, so seven five. What's anything? What's when's the store gonna open back up? Um, that's important. Hopefully that's... a week. A week? Yeah, I should be done. What I'm working on right now, I should be done tomorrow. And then I'm taking a week off because it's just been, it's been a just wildly crazy. busy. It's been so busy. Yeah. yeah. I oh. I made like, I've made, um, 
of almost three times more than I made last year for like the number of leggings that I made. So, wow. I'm tired. <laughs> How long has this store been offline? Um, almost a month now. In that month, people have only become like more interested in your product and are, and and the the desire to have that and to support you has only increased. Do you know that when you turn it back on again you're going to get inundated? How does that make you I'm, feel? Uh, <laughs> nervous. Now that I presented it <laughs> in as frightening a fashion as I possibly could. Make very comfortable for sports pants. Yeah, people People are gonna, yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna, your 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 page is gonna blow up. I can't wait. Um, Kavi, what's what's next on uh, Gotham stream? What can we expect? I don't actually know. I would actually have to text Reddit ask. It's a new month. It's a new uh, month. Yeah. Month is our old school theme, so I don't know what's happening this month. Um, we do not have a ham and hammy show Tuesday. We don't? I don't. I think I heard last week that they were going to be off. Whoa. I mean, I believe you. I actually, that is not what Hammy and I talked about earlier. Oh, so, so maybe I, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. That's very possible. Well, no, it, no, it's also very possible that you're right. Um, they deserve a break. They've been putting out a great show. Right. Um, okay. Well, it's 1035 and I do not need to keep you all forever um plus i'm gonna go watch tv now um and that's 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 what, that's what i'm doing so thank you so much for hanging out seven five coffee this was like a ton of fun um this is the new regular thing i do on saturdays now i shoot this invite out to a bunch of people and then they come on and we just talk about whatever happens you know whatever's going on um so thank you so much for coming on um we're gonna close with that i'm gonna end the stream uh i don't have a fancy outro or anything oh you know what i will do because gotham's not streaming we're gonna we're gonna leave on the fish pen ad so i'll roll fish pen in three two Remember the good old days when you had time to just go fishing? Life was simple back then, and fishing was one of life's great treasures. Well, now you can be ready to fish anytime, anywhere, with the amazing new fish pen. It looks like an ordinary pen, but watch it instantly transform into a durable fishing rod that you can carry with you all the time. What makes the fish pen unique is the sturdy telescoping rod made of super strong composite material and the solid detachable reel engineered with a beautiful brass finish. There's never been a fishing pole as easy or compact as the fish pen, and everyone from amateurs to experts love it. Casting's no problem with a fish pen. Sometimes I don't have time for bulky equipment. That's when I reach for my fish pen. When you're finished, it simply collapses to fit inside your shirt pocket, backpack, glove box, or even your briefcase. At work daydreaming again? Now you can spend your lunchtime fishing with the fish pen. This is great. With the fish pen, I can take him fishing anytime he likes. Wow, I always catch fish with my fish pen. The fish pen. It's the greatest gift I could give my grandkids. Through this exclusive TV offer, you can get the original fish pen, plus the detachable reel and this entire starter tackle kit, including hooks, lines, weights, and bobbers. But that's not all, because we'll also send you this deluxe pouch to keep it all together. A $20 value, yours free. You get it all, hook, line, and sinker, for only $39.99. Call right now and we'll double this offer and give you an extra fish pen for free. Just pay separate shipping and handling. That's one for you and one for your fishing buddy. Call now and get two complete fish pen kits, an $80 value for just $39.99. Call 1-800-943-6416 to order the fish pen at the special TV price of just $39.99. That's 1-800-943-6416. Not available in stores, so have your credit card ready and call 1-800-943-6416.